how to avoid distracting yourself man let's be honest we're all distracted we use our phone too much you're playing your playstation too much you're watching too many movies you're constantly distracted you're not able to focus on a task for a period of time that's what i'm going to talk about in today's video on how to avoid distracting yourself man and being productive now before i break the video down you know what to do smash the like button hit that red subscribe button and make sure you comment down below on your experience of being distracted or what's helped you avoid distractions now the first thing you have to realize is that like i said we all get distracted everyone has their own poison you understand everyone has something that they do that they spend way too much time on it could be social media it could be video games, it could be anything, you know? So that's the first thing, acknowledging what it is for you. Where's your time wasted on the most? What are you, like, you know, what's taking you off track, offshore? That's what you have to identify, what it is. Maybe it's TikTok, maybe it's YouTube, who knows? Now, you have to realize is that you will struggle to make progress in your life if you cannot avoid the distractions. You'll be stuck in the same position, day by day, week by year, year by year, you'll be in the same position because time is ticking. You spend like four hours playing video games or six hours on TikTok, like time is ticking, one day, two day. And before you know it, years have gone by and you look at yourself in the mirror, bro. You look at where you're at and you're in the same position. And you're thinking, yo, why am I in the same position? Why am I not progressing? The reason is because you're wasting too much time. <laughs> you know, you're wasting way too much time on some shit you shouldn't be doing. Now, I'm not saying you should cut everything off and never distract yourself. Productivity every minute, as soon as you wake up until you go to sleep. That's a bit too extreme. That's not realistic at the same time. You need your little like time away, detox away from your, your, your life or your productivity. But how much time are you giving to that? If that becomes your dominant thought, if that becomes your dominant action throughout the day, then guess what happens, bro? You end up nowhere. So using it as an escapism briefly and going back to business, back to what you need to do is the way to, you know, move forward. Now you have to realize that, like I said, time is ticking, bro. You're not getting any younger. You're not, nothing, you know what I mean? Like you're not getting any younger. Time is moving forward, bro, with, with or without you. Whether you're productive or not productive, it's moving on. So this life, this miracle that we're living, bro, make the most out of it, man. You see people constantly progress on social media, on celebrities, athletes making progress, hitting milestones while you're still in the same position, watching from the sideline, doing nothing with yourself. Have you got, are you improving your physique? Are you improving your mindset? Are you improving your finances? Like, you have to question yourself, bro. You can't just go through, wake up, hey, check my phone, go to work, come back, watch a movie, play games, go sleep. And before you know it, you're dead in the coffin. What did you achieve? Nothing. Just a mundane life doing the same shit over and over again. You have to concentrate. You have to put time aside on what you want to progress in. Like if you want to progress your physique, you have to dedicate an hour, two hours a day on working out and preparing your food. You want to, you want, you want to progress in your finance, you have to dedicate an hour, two hours, three hours into your business. You understand? Like you have to be a conscious effort, a conscious choice. If you don't make a conscious choice to see progress, then you're going to be wandering through life, through the jungle, lost, and just die at the end of it without any achievement, any accolades, any anything to be proud of and that. You understand? Now, the biggest thing that people spend the most time on is their phone. You get what I'm saying to you? So, your phone is inevitable. You're going to use your phone regardless. And like, you cannot avoid using your phone, especially in 2023, bro. Everything's on your phone. You're going to need your phone for something. Now, use it as a reward system. Don't use it as a way of just escaping your reality, like once you're bored or you don't want to talk to a person or being on your phone. Use it as a reward. You know what? I'm going to put in work. Let's say I'm going to go to the gym for an hour or two hours, and then I might check my phone for 10 minutes. Or you know what? I'm going to read this book or I'm going to work on my home. Whatever you got going on, do that first. And at the end of it, you reward yourself by going on your phone briefly. You understand? So, Again, use it as a reward system rather than just the main purpose of your life or the main thing that you do every single minute. Check it here and there. Because let's be honest, it's the same shit over and over again. Once you go on the timeline, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, it's the same shit. Recycle the different packages, bro. There's nothing exciting on your phone. So use your phone in order to, you know, detox from productivity briefly and then get back to business, bro. You understand? Now, 
you're going to have to understand that productivity has to be first. You have to put productivity first, bro. What you want to achieve, what you want to acquire, what you want to progress in your life, that has to be first and foremost in that before anything else, bro. There has to be a priority list. Productivity, working out, whatever it is. And at the end of it, bro, you can go into playing games or video games or movies or whatever that other shit is, bro. What is your priority? What is your main focus? Get that done. And then get the next thing done. And then work your way down. And then, yeah, at the end of it, cool. So you, you achieve what you need to achieve. You've done what you need to do. You want to relax by watching a movie. You know what I'm saying? Do what you, do what you feel, bro. But if the distractions or entertainment comes first and productivity is last, then that's a recipe for disaster, a recipe for failure. This is why you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're not happy. You're not happy where you are. You're not happy with your finances, with anything, your mentality. is because you put entertainment on the pedestal. You put enjoying yourself first. Oh, you have to live life, bro. You have to enjoy yourself, man. Can't take it too serious. What are that thinking, bro? It's leading you to failure, bro. That's it. So productivity first, entertainment as a reward system. If you got a formula wrong, you put entertainment first and then productivity when you feel like it, that's it, bro. You're a loser, bro. And you're going to stay, you're going to remain a loser. I'm sorry to tell you, bro. You'll be a loser for the rest of your life. You will not amount to anything. You will not achieve your goals, your desires, and you'll just live a basic, boring life. As simple as that. Now, you have to realize is that the question you have to ask yourself is how bad do you want it? See, most people, they would like to have it, but they do not want it bad enough. I would like to be a millionaire, but you don't want to put 16 hours in a day. Oh, I'd like to have a good body, but you don't want to go to the gym for an hour a day and food prep for two hours a day. You understand? Oh, I would like to have a strong mindset, but you don't want to study, read self-development books, listen to podcasts. You see, there's a cause and effect. The law cause and effect. If you do this, this comes out of it. You understand? If you eat junk food every single day, you're going to be overweight at some point in your life. If you eat healthy, then you're going to be healthy. You understand? You cannot change the formula. Oh, you're going to sit down and do nothing and then things will happen. No. You understand? So it's like you have to follow the laws of cause and effect, the laws of the universe. Simple as that. If you don't, then you're lying to yourself. So what you are asking for, what you want to achieve, are you willing to do what it takes? Are you willing to follow the process? Everyone has big ambitions, but are you willing to do what it takes? 9% of people, 95% of people are not willing to do what it takes. You're not willing to do what it takes to build your dream body, bro. You're not willing to do it, bro. You're not willing to sweat, grind, sacrifice, you know, and put the work in. Oh, I want to be rich, a multimillionaire. You're not willing to start that business, fail, start a business again, over and over again. Put time and energy into it. Sacrifice video games, sacrifice movies, sacrifice all that shit, bro, so you can progress. Are you willing to do that? No. So that's why you'll not get there. You understand? That's how it works in that. In order for you to get to the top of the mountain, you have to work your way up, bro. You cannot teleport to the top of the mountain. So ask yourself, are you willing to do what it takes or not? If not, then that's it. Accept it. If you are, then you must sacrifice. As simple as that. And that brings me to the next point, which is sacrifice is how to grow. You grow by sacrificing, by eliminating video games, putting your phone aside in that, bro. Not going on your phone all day. You understand? Stop eating the junk food and that, the processed food. Stop, stop watching movies. Stop watching the YouTube videos. Stop watching everything and dedic sacrificing. It's time with your family, time with your friends. Putting all of that shit aside, bro. Sacrifice is how you grow. If you're thinking, if you really think, yeah, you're going to continue the way you're living right now, bro, and make progress, you're delusional. You're dreaming. You must give something up in order to go to the next step. The question is, what are you willing to give up? Or are you going to just continue to go on the way you are right now and hoping one day something will happen and you'll get there? One plus one equals two. If every day you do one plus one, go to school, work, go back home, watch movie, TikTok, go home, sleep, then it's one plus one and you also get two. In order for you to get a different result, you might have to eliminate time on your phone, eliminate spending time with that friend. Now that the formula changes and now you can go to the next stage and now you can get a different result. So what are you willing to sacrifice is the question. And simple as that, bro. The less time you spend distracting yourself, the less time you spend on your phone, the quicker you progress. That's how it works. But you don't want to spend less time on your phone. You don't want to spend less time on YouTube or TikTok. 
You want to spend more time on it and think that you're going somewhere. <laughs> Good luck with that, boy. If you've if you got a formula for that, then let me know. But as far as I'm aware, you must do deep work and deep thinking and concentrated effort into a particular task to get mastery over it in order to move forward. There's no other way. And take accountability, bro. You, you are where you are because of yourself. Don't blame social media. Don't blame the government. Don't blame your parents, friends, nobody. It's you, your fault. Where you are right now is down to you. You done this to yourself, bro. Being overweight, you done this. Being broke, you done that. Being a loser, you done that. Having a weak mentality, you done that. Take accountability and use that energy, that fuel, in order to make something out of yourself, bro. It's that simple. If not, again, a, a meaningless life, a mundane life, and that's it. You go through life, you work, you might get some money or whatever, and you go through the cycle, distract yourself, and die. And nobody, you know? Push, bro, push. You got more in you, man. You know you have. Make sure to hit that like button. Hit the red subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on your experience. Check out the link in the description. We've got programs. Connect with me on Discord. Everything's in the description, man. Let's go.